right, and then the run down into the pit road. Now, Grice's pit is halfway down this pit road. There, the speed humps. A little bit of acceleration on the brakes. Colin Young will be standing by in the pit area. And here he comes in, the Roadways Team Commodore. So we now have 05, Peter Brock, and we have a driver change now coming in. In goes Steve Harrington. Fury's gone by, Johnson has gone by. Steve Harrington uh, having his helmet adjusted by Alan Grice. 20 seconds gone on the clock for their pit stop. And Colin Young in the pit area following the action. 37, that's down on the James Hardy 1000. Alan Grice is in the pit. Steve Harrington is now in car six. Some last minute instructions from Alan Grice. Mechanics just washing the windscreen and they've changed four wheels, two churns of fuel. But a bit of a problem, Harrington can't start the car. Mechanics now pushing it to get it rolling. Uh, so a, a delay here for the Alan Grice, Steve Harrington Commodore. Mechanics pushing it fury, furiously up pit lane. The car fires. Steve Harrington back onto the track. Thank you, Colin Young. Please so try and catch a quick word with uh, with Alan Grice. Alan, uh, any problems with the car? No, the car's pretty strong. Brakes are starting to uh, show. They've done 40 laps, but nothing wrong with them. Um, uh, we'll just let Alan uh, grab a cool drink here. It's been pretty hot work out there. The engine's good. It's, you know, it's not terribly strong, but it's uh, it's pretty good. It's, it's very strong in, in terms of reliability. I'm sure it'll last the day. What was the problem with the uh, car failing to start? Got no idea. So you're confident Steve can uh, run out there at a hot pace? Oh, yeah, it must be just the battery. We've got a lot of your television gear in there running off our battery, you know. OK, that's uh, probably helping the problems. That's the word from Alan Grice. Back to Mike Raymond. OK, thank you very much, Colin Young. Well, Grice is in. He can take a rest for a while, if a racer can have a rest during uh, a thousand kilometre event. And 05 is still the race leader. That's, of course, Larry Perkins at the wheel. Now George Fury slipping up into second spot on the grid. Number 17 is Dick Johnson running in third. That drops the roadways car with Steve Harrington in the wheel, at the wheel, back into fourth spot. And then the Cullen Jones entered uh, Commodore V8, slipping up one more spot. OK, Peter Brock is taking a breather for the moment, and I think he would be delighted to see his uh, co-driver and a winning co-driver, that and Larry Perkins, still at the head of the field. Let's go back to Cole Young. Well, it's uh, Pat Wells down here in the pit studio, actually, Michael, and Peter might be taking a breather, but he's certainly not relaxing, watching the uh, TV monitors very, very closely. A little bit worried when uh, Gricey uh, took Perkins at one stage there. No, I saw uh, Gricey start to take him, and then... But back right off, uh, lose about 100 metres, and I thought, well, looked like he must have really run out of fuel, you know, it's flooding a little bit, and I thought maybe he's trying to go too far in the first tank full of petrol. We certainly didn't take any risks, we, uh, remember rightly, last year we coughed and splattered and <laughs> just made it the pits this year, we said we'll come in early, uh, do our assessment on uh, fuel economy, and uh, get a dead right for the second run. I know you're absolutely delighted as well with the uh, pit stop, very quick. Uh, you know, we picked up 15 seconds on Gricey there just in the pitch, you know, and that's just, I mean, on the track you have to work very, very hard, 15 seconds. There it was there in the pitch just with uh, a crew, did two fabulous stops. Mine was uh, 30 seconds and John's was 27 seconds. And uh, that's, I mean, people around just applaud. Team and uh, worrying for a while. OK, well, I think Mike Raymond wants to have a word. I was just going to... Uh, I, I was only going to say then to you, uh, Peter, that... Uh, you must be delighted because last year you had a few problems around about this time of the day. Gee whiz, around about lap seven I was, wasn't too happy. Then I remembered I had another car. <laughs> no, it, it, the car's running beautifully and uh, I'm, uh, well, we, we, you learn by your mistakes, Mike. And last year I knew that uh, we'd made a blue. We went to a supplier we'd never used before in a bit with some of the bits and pieces in the engine. And uh, gee, you know, it didn't pay off, did it? might have paid off, but you're doing well today, and we hope uh, good fortune smiles for the remainder of the James Hardy for 84. Yeah, a long, long way to go, Mike. OK, thanks, Peter. There's Larry Perkins, still out in front and leading the great race. Second spot being held by George Fury. Third place to Queensland's Dick Johnson. More action to follow when we return to Mount Panorama at Bathurst.